Hi! In this lesson, I'm going to show you the differences between AverVision recording and Aver Plus recording within the Aver Plus software. Since the two icons look nearly identical, it's easy to confuse the two at the start until you know how exactly each type of recording works. Let's start by going over the AverVision recording feature, which is implemented through the document camera. Let's first open up our document camera within Aver Plus. In this video, we're assuming that your document camera is already connected to your computer. If you need assistance connecting the document camera, please refer to our video on that subject. The icon for AverVision recording shows up as a little camcorder. This feature allows you to record video as seen by the document camera. Recording in this mode records only what the document camera sees. Let's show this with an example. The first thing to note is that at the top of our new menu, it says AverVision and has a picture of the document camera. We'll go over the recording options later. For now, let's just focus on recording. When we hover the mouse over the start slash stop recording button, the button changes colors to indicate that we have it selected. Let's click to start recording. Now we just click the button again to stop recording. Here we have our new video that we recorded using the AverVision record feature. Let's play this video to illustrate how the video records what the document camera sees. In Aver Plus, we also have another video recording feature, which is called Aver Plus Record. This recording mode captures what is seen on the entire computer screen, which may or may not include the document camera image. Let's use a new page. Next. Let's bring our document camera into this working space. Now let's bring up the Aver Plus record mode. You'll notice that the Aver Plus record mode menu looks very similar to the Aver Vision record menu. The easiest way to tell these two apart is to look at the top of the menu. Whereas the Aver Vision record menu said Aver Vision and had a picture of the document camera, the Aver Plus record menu says Aver Plus and has the Aver Plus icon. To illustrate the difference in the way Aver Plus records, I'm going to record a simple video of me annotating on the screen over the document camera image. Once again, we click the record button to stop recording. Now let's play this video, and we will clearly see the difference in how the Aver Plus recording mode differs from the AverVision recording mode. After playing the video, it's easy to see how the two recording modes, AverVision and Aver Plus, differ from each other. Depending on your lesson needs, one will likely be more appropriate than the other. Now that the main differences are understood, we can go into detail on the options that each recording mode has as they are almost identical. In Aver Plus recording mode, there are the following options. The first box, whose icon looks like a green plus sign with two blank pieces of paper, determines where your recorded video will show up. If this box is not checked, your newly recorded video will show up as an object in the current page. If this box is checked, when you finish recording, a new page will be created and in it will be your video. This next option differentiates between either screen record or page record. This is a very subtle difference. And the main way to think about this is whether or not you want to show your entire screen or just your workspace in your recorded video. If screen record is selected, then the new video will be an exact copy of what you see on your computer screen. If page record is selected, then the new video will only contain your workspace. No toolbars, no menus, etc. The next option down allows you to select the recording resolution. Higher resolution recording results in a higher quality video, but the file will take up more space on your computer. I recommend using the highest resolution to allow for the best quality. Below this is the destination directory where recorded videos are saved. The path is shown in the toolbar and can be changed by clicking on the folder icon to the right. Last is the option to set the file name for the video before it records. Now let's pull up the AverVision record menu so that we can look at the options that mode has. Move the mouse to the AverVision icon on the toolbar and select it. 
As we can see, a revision record has all the same options as a plus record except for the screen versus page record. The main reason this option is absent from a revision recording, as you have probably already guessed, is because a revision record works only from the perspective of your document camera. Aside from this, the options and their functions are identical between a revision and a plus recording. And there you have it. I hope this video helped you to understand the different video recording methods that are employed by Aver Plus. Now you can think about different ways to use these features in your lesson plans.